Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is a somewhat common and potentially dangerous issue with the heart's electrical system. Cardioelectrophysiologist Dr. Moses Wananu shows us how the cardiology department at Mercy Health can help diagnose and treat AFib at their Fairfield location. This Cincy Lifestyle Health segment, sponsored by Mercy Health. Hi, my name is Dr. Moses Wananu, and I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist. An electrophysiologist, the way to think about them is a heart electrician. The heart has three main systems, but the two primary ones are the electrical system of the heart, and you also have the plumbing system of the heart. So an electrophysiologist is a doctor who specializes with the electrical system of the heart, particularly the different types of abnormalities that the electrical system of the heart can have. So atrial fibrillation, I typically tell my patients it's better seen than described. So I'll show you here on my iPad. This is the normal heart on the left side and abnormal heart on the right side. As you can see here, the heart is beating with the electrical system being sent like the yellow wave bond from the top chamber to the bottom chamber. You have nice, conduction that you can almost count. On this other side, you have an abnormal rhythm coming from the top chamber of the heart. So atrial fibrillation is an abnormal rhythm coming from the top left chamber of the heart. The first part of the name atrial is a chamber and fibrillation is a quivering that the heart does. Atrial fibrillation is extremely common in fact, it's the most common arrhythmia in the United States. The most common ways that sometimes I see patients being sent with atrial fibrillation is because of their Apple Watch. That tells them that they're in atrial fibrillation. But the traditional way has been an abnormal rhythm that has been picked up when they're visiting their primary care doctor because most people do not actually feel the palpitations of their heart. What they feel is fatigue, being very tired doing routine stuff. So I like calling that undue fatigue, where between two different days, they just did the exact same thing, but on one particular day, they have more fatigue than the previous day. That is really the most common symptom that people have in AFib. The diagnosis of atrial fibrillation is done through an EKG. That's a recording that looks at the electrical impulses of the heart, and it shows you like I was demonstrating there, when the top chamber is quivering, it causes an irregular rhythm, and that's the most accurate way to diagnose it. But with the current tools like the Apple Watch, it can also pick that up. It's not going to be medical grade, but it's good enough that when patients come with suspicion of atrial fibrillation, then we do a 12th lead to see the atrial fibrillation, or a monitor for 15 to 30 days that picks up episodes of atrial fibrillation. So atrial fibrillation is not deadly per se, like the rhythms that come from the bottom chamber of the heart, but it can have very serious consequences. So when somebody is diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, we send them for sleep study so that they, if that's, they have obstructive sleep apnea, that can be treated and help with the management of the AFib. Other additional risk factors are alcohol, heavy drinking, and in some people, they just have what we call alcohol heart, where even a little bit of drinking can trigger them to go into atrial fibrillation. In some instances, people can have thyroid disease, overactive thyroid, and that can be a reversible because if you manage their thyroid, then they can be treated and don't need further management of atrial fibrillation. For more information, Regarding atrial fibrillation, treatment and management, please visit mercy.com or you can call our office for an appointment.